Classic Horse Race, the Betfred Cheltenham Gold Cup, headed by Burton Port, who was second to long run at Newbury last time, but was getting 10 pounds that day. And today, of course, it's level weights. Two is Carruthers, winner of the Hennessy Gold Cup earlier in the season, and fourth in this behind Imperial Commander two years ago. Three is China Rock, Andrew Lynch in the saddle, 101, was pulled up last year and clearly has much to find. Four is Diamond Harry, who beat Burton Port in the 2010 Hennessy, held on this year's form, but has had a breathing operation. Five, the racing legend that is Corto Star, running in his sixth Gold Cup, trying to regain it for the second time. Nakara Bow, an outsider here, but he's an admirable horse. He could be staying on, but looks outclassed. Long run was the winner 12 months ago, but has twice been beaten by Corto Star this season. The score between them is now 2 all. This is the decider. Midnight Chase loves Cheltenham. He's won five times round here in the hands of Dougie Costello and was fifth last year. He's not out of it. Synchronised looked good when winning the Lexus Chase in Ireland last time. A past Welsh national winner. He stays forever. The giant bolster was only fourth behind long run at Newbury and has lots to do on that form, but has been an improver this season. The Midnight Club, well, 100 to 1 says it all, and he looks more of a grand national horse these days. Time for Rupert is another horse that loves Cheltenham. He's three times a course winner and was second here in a world hurdle behind Big Bucks. Weird Al is an interesting rival. He's held by Corto Star and Long Run on Betfair Chase running at Haydock, but he's been freshened up for this. And what a friend, a stable companion of Corto Star, fourth last year, talented, but not always dependable. The winner's enclosure and the walk back through the paddock are all already rammed with thousands of people who want to be here for the aftermath. But before the aftermath, we have to have the action. Three to one now, Corto Star, as the money comes on from the shops around the country. A wave of affection backed up by fivers and tenors. A huge crowd here at Cheltenham. Just seconds now to the Cheltenham Gold Cup, and the man to take you through it, Simon Holt. And they're coming out. 22 fences to be jumped. Coming in, it looks a goer. And they're away and Midnight Chase is straight into the lead and Corto Star very handy from the outset in the hands of Ruby Walsh. The white-faced Corto Star will jump disputing second with time for Rupert on the outside as they jump the first and come up towards the fence in front of the stands with two circuits ahead of them and it's Midnight Chase, Corto Star, time for Rupert and down is what a friend there and Carruthers hampered and the Midnight Club had to swerve. What a friend is up on his feet all right. Uh, Daryl Jacob being attended to by a paramedic. So the first drama at the second fence. What a friend out of the race. Carruthers got a bad knock as they run into the back straight. Midnight Chase from Corto Star. Time for Rupert. Nokara Bow. Then the giant bolster and long run behind those. And Daryl Jacob is up on his feet, he's all right. Onto the first down the back straight. And the leaders land safely. Looking behind the leaders, Burton Port in the midfield. Long run in the orange sleeves towards the inside under Sam Whaley Cohen, followed through by Synchronized on the inside. Diamond Harry is further back. Carruthers, Weird Al in black colors is held up. And then the Midnight Club as they clear the water. Synchronized was none too fluent there. Onto an open ditch, Midnight Chase from Quarto Star. Midnight Chase, Corto Star, Nokara Bow, time for Rupert. On the right is Long Run, then the Giant Bolster, followed by Burton Port, synchronised, the white face synchronised on the inside. The leader clouted that plain fence hard, Midnight Chase. And now they swing left handed towards another open ditch. Midnight Chase, Nokara Bow, and Corto Star in third place. Long run fourth on the inside. Time for Rupert is wider out as they jump the ditch. Uh, good jumps by both the front two in the market there. The giant bolster is chasing the leaders, followed by Diamond Harry in blue sleeves on the inside of Burton Port. Yellow colours, China Rock. Carruthers is out wide. Then Weird Al synchronised in the Midnight Club over the next plane fence. And Corto Star just losing his position slightly at this stage and, and, and Ruby's not happy on him. Uh, long run is going much better in front of him and uh, Corto Star 
just doesn't look to be traveling at the moment. And this is very early in the race as they go towards the next. Midnight chase time for Rupert. Nokara Bow uh, followed by Long Run. Oh, he's running absolutely flat here, Corto Star. This is not him and he's going to be pulled up. It's very disappointing. Corto Star is being pulled up. The racing legend is being taken out of the race by Ruby Walsh. But still the crowd are cheering. They give him a round of applause. So much respect for a great horse. This isn't his day. And it's midnight chase that leads the Gold Cup field. And Sam Whaley Cohen having a look round there. And he realises that Corto Star now is out of the race, his big rival. And so this is Long Run's big chance to post back-to-back -back Gold Cups as they start up the home straight with over a circuit left to go. And it's midnight chase from time for Rupert. Long Run in third, China Rock, Nocturne. Carabo, the giant bolster. Then Burton Court Carruthers, followed by Diamond Harry, synchronised. Weird Al and the Midnight Club is last. And Quarto Star is just being hat cantered back by Ruby Wall. She looks all right. Midnight Chase led over the next and in front of the stands with a circuit to go. Midnight Chase from time for Rupert. A length and a half to Long Run, who's had a charm run round so far. In fourth place is China Rock. Then Nokara Bow, the giant bolster. Burton Port and Carruthers is out wide in the red sleeves. Diamond Harry synchronized, is just about to hanging into contention. Then the Midnight Club and Weird Owl is not going very well. He's dropped to the tail now. He looks to be running flat as well as they go to the next. Midnight chase time for it. And that wasn't a great jump from long run there. He breasted that. The giant bolster and China Rock. Carruthers is under pressure. Synchronized is making ground. Then Diamond Harry as they head towards the water jump. Midnight Chase is taken on by time for Rupert. China Rock's on the left. Long Run is tracking them with the giant bolster and the check sleeves. Then Burton Port uh, synchronised his next from Nakara Bow as they jump that open ditch. Followed by Carruthers, Diamond Harry, Weird Al under pressure. And then the Midnight Club heading towards the next plane fence. Midnight Chase, time for Rupert in the air together. Ch tracked in third by Long Run. He's just stalking them at the moment. China Rock is right there, Sam Whaley Cohen. He looks quite confident as they turn towards this open ditch. This is six out there coming to a midnight chase and time for Rupert. Two core specialists here at Cheltenham leading the way over Long Run and China Rock in third and fourth. The giant bolster, Burton Port, synchronized is in touch and he is a tremendous stayer as they run towards the next plane fence at which it was just midnight chase. They're getting sorted out behind. They're in the torture chamber now in the Gold Cup with four fences left to jump time for Rupert and midnight chase long run on the inside the defending champ China Rock Burton Port then synchronized at four out midnight chase put down time for Rupert left in front long run hit it but he's right there in behind time for Rupert China Rock Burton Port on the outside the giant bolster synchronized and McCoy he's pushing away but the horse is bound to run on up the hill they run towards the third last time for Rupert long run on the right right there over three out, then the giant bolster followed by Burton Port, China Rock just feeling it, synchronised, driven hard now, and they're away from Midnight Chase, they head towards the final turn, and Sam Whaley Cohen gets to work on Long Run, and it's time for Rupert and the giant bolster could we have an upset here, Long Run is switched, trying to come between them Burton Port on the near side as they race to the second last, the giant bolster and Tom Skudemore take it up at two out, the giant bolster, time for Rupert second Long run back in third. Then Burton Port and synchronised. Now racing for the final fence. This isn't over yet. The giant bolster long run. Synchronised is joining in. He stays so well. He'll outstay them up the hill. Synchronised from long run. Then the giant bolster. It's synchronised. And the 16 times champion jockey, Tony McCoy. He comes storming up the hill to win the Gold Cup. Synchronised wins. The giant bolster second. Long run run a one pace third then Burton Port in fourth followed by time for Rupert and Nakara Bow midnight chase China Rock the midnight club and Carruthers and he could he just kept him close enough here McCoy the wonderful McCoy the greatest jockey this country has ever seen 
the 16-time champion jockey, synchronised the winner of a Welsh national, impressive in Ireland last time in the Lexus chase. Every season this horse has improved just a little bit. He's diminutive, he's small of stature, but he's got mighty staying powers and he showed it there up the Cheltenham Hill. AP, you're the greatest jockey of all time and you've just bagged a second Gold Cup. Yeah, um, look, it's great for John O'Neill, for the big man, this is Noreen and JP and the family. They've been so good to me since I started riding from... And I haven't really delivered, you know, only the odd time. Not enough. Um, I'll tell you who is going to be happy. Jamie Moore got a seven-day ban the other day and he wanted to go to Las Vegas. And I told him if I won the Gold Cup, I'd pay for it for him. So I'd say it's going to be expensive, but I'd pay for it every day if I thought I could win the Gold Cup. But you, when we talked to you before, you were concerned that he lacked a bit of scope and a little bit of pace. He did, Alice. He was off all the way. And what I didn't want to be doing was having to fire him down the fences and making it hard for him. I, got, I missed the third last, but I thought I was close enough. And if I, if I drilled him down and I ejected him, I'd have been gutted, you know? An amazing horse, an amazing training for him. And as I said, I'm delighted for the McManus. It's put so much into racing, Noreen and JP, and they've been so good to me. So, um, amazing. And what about John Joe Neal? He won the race on Dawn Run, and now he's trained it with you on board. Uh, look, he's, he, I've got a Gold Cup winner and a Grand National winner. Of, uh, I love the man. I've said it all along. He, Jack Dell's Castle looks like a closed shop with, with obviously JP and maybe Derek Smith and a few of them, but the man deserves to have more horses, you know? <laughs> Come chat them every year, he's banged there, you know. Okay, brilliant. Uh, 